Hello everybody, thanks for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. The channel where we share love for primitive decor, we make crafts, we draw, I do a lot of drawing and some painting. So thank you for stopping at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. We have primitive items for sale for you. We have Etsy, we have Instagram, we have a Facebook page, look us up. Um, we've been sharing videos recently of a festival that we were doing in Shaker Woods, Ohio. Prior to that, I did some tours of two different primitive decor shops. One was Pinecone Gift Shop in Ohio. Another one was uh, Bridgewater Primitives in Ohio. And in the meantime, between that and the Shaker Woods Festival, I did a home tour and a uh, visit to 119 Antique Trading Post. And it's near Indiana, PA. I think it's Indiana County in Pennsylvania. So if you want to check that out, 119 Antique Trading Post and that's a really neat place to uh, shop for something a little bit different now if you're like me i get kind of anxiety when i go in those places and i know that i like to incorporate that in my decor because it makes my home feel cozy and like a piece of history is you know being reused and someone at some point in time treasured that item and kept it and took good care of it so that it lasted this long and that's like it's a really special thing I like to put in my decor but sometimes I don't know what to do with that kind of thing and if you're like me you go in the antique shops and you just kind of feel I feel a little bit overwhelmed I'm not big into the yard sale and the piled up stuff I like things organized so maybe it's just a personality issue but I thought if you were like me and you get a little bit uh, nervous about what to do with the antiques and why should we incorporate the antiques I've got a really nice video for you because I don't want to lose this footage I know a lot of you have been asking me about the Shaker Woods footage and I'm going to get to that too but I have I'm a little bit behind I have a couple of um a, a, well actually a lot of footage that I wanted to share with you so I don't lose it so that's what I'm going to do this week and probably next week next week I think I'm going to share with you the home tour that I did that I haven't even gotten out yet and I don't want summer to pass by because it is summer decor you can use all this year round of course but this was a really nice summer home tour that I did I've been in this home in the past so I can't wait to share that with you but Today again, we're back to the antiques. I'm going to share with you the antique store that I went to. And I actually went to a couple of them, I think, in this footage. And um, I want to show you some ideas about incorporating antiques in your home. I found a lot of um, photos that I'm going to share at the beginning of this video with antiques. And they're really pretty, and I hope you like them as much as I do. You maybe get some ideas about the pictures I'm gonna share with you and talk to you a little bit of antiques and then later in the video we're gonna jump to uh, the trip to the antique store. I hope you like it. It's not as boring as it sounds, I promise. If it, if it were me and I was scrolling through and someone wanted to talk about antiques, I might just keep scrolling. But actually this one I think you'll like and it's really um, good, good thoughts for you to um, maybe think of a way to put antiques in your home even if you're modern even if you're just kind of country or farmhouse whatever there's always a way to incorporate a piece of history in your home and just continue the tradition of that special little thing that someone kept through time so join with me now as we enter into the the pictures that i have for you and then the trip the road trip to the antique store 119 um, trading post it was called so that's today's video again next week we'll be doing the um the home tour and then we'll get to the shaker woods video and after that we're going to make something i promise maybe we'll make a doll i know a lot of you have been asking maybe a fall doll a witch or a pumpkin something i'm sure i'll have a pumpkin carving again this year i seem to do that every year i hope you like those maybe i'll incorporate a doll making it a pumpkin carving if i have time we'll see how we'll see how it unravels but okay guys like share subscribe you know how the face youtube works um almost said facebook you know how youtube works so um, share me with your friends, tell them about me and so that the, the Cranberry Cornstalk Company so that we can get up and running. Again, we are a retail shop. We sell on Etsy and we sell through, um, we sell through emails and we mostly sell wholesale. So if you have a gift shop or you know someone local that you'd like to have a gift shop to sell our items, please reach out, have them reach out to us. We're on fair. We sell a lot of our items on fair as well. Mostly we specialize in the black and beeswax. If you've seen our videos before, you see we do taper candles in the black and beeswax, stuffs it in cinnamon. That's a lot of our stuff. We do potpourri room scents, candles. We have black and beeswax candles. 
and of course our yummy yummy soaps that are just wonderful for your skin all natural soaps that we don't use a lot of dyes or colors in just the natural ingredients for you that your skin will absolutely love and our website is www.thecranberrypornstock.com Etsy, Instagram, Fair, got it all guys. Thank you for stopping and let's get started.